Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make these awesome DIY bunkers for futuristic sci-fi terrain for like Kill Team or even, you know, bigger 40k games. But these are electrical boxes you can find at the hardware store and some very common DIY crafting materials. <laughs> Let's say to start with, we're gonna kind of do a red versus blue theme. I've already got some blue ones and some green ones. I'm gonna make some red ones because who doesn't love the classic videos from Rooster Teeth, red versus blue? I certainly love them. Some of these will have these little wings on them. This is a cut in box. So there's sometimes a little bit more disassembly needed, but these little pieces right here are great to save to use or Greebles. As with any piece of material you are trying to recycle in order to build terrain out of, there's some prep that has to happen. These boxes had little wings on the side for the nails to go into the studs, and then we had to sand them off. But as I'm cleaning up my hobby space, can everyone please consider liking and subscribing? This really helps the channel out and it's totally free. So let's get back to the video and I appreciate you all very much. I say I sure do love my tattoo bottles. These things are awesome. They were a recommendation I saw a while back on Uncle Adam's channel. And in this little one I keep um, isopropyl alcohol. It's great for like cleaning stuff. And this one is just tap water for rinsing. So you can pick some of these up. I'll have some links down below to some other great products. So this, this chipboard's pretty easy to cut. I like to kind of line it up on my squares here. I can kind of estimate. You can really just kind of cut some strips. You can see here, so like our, so what we'll do is we can cut, you know, we know Chipboard needs to be about oh there. On this side. And if you really wanted to prep these ahead of time, you can always make just some squares with some designs on them first and then glue them on after you've made the squares with the designs on them. But I didn't plan that far ahead. So here we are. So here's what I forgot. White glue, PVA glue, school glue. This stuff works really good on chipboard. The chipboard really soaks it in and helps it set up quick. So just a little bit Little bit will do ya. Like that. And it kind of holds itself together, and there we go. We got a sci fi design. Just a very little bit. Do a couple different patterns. You can do like this one, which is like gonna be like a staggered pattern. Nope. Do what you're told. Don't worry. It's not tedious at all, they said. It's so, like there's a pattern you can do. All right, another simple pattern. All right, so this is the cross stitching mesh. Sometimes called granny grating, cross stitch mesh. It's, I think it's got a couple different things it goes by. Oops. There's a lot of surface area on this, so I don't want to use hot glue. So I am going to use a little bit. Super 
blue. This stuff is some of my some of my favorite. This is the Star Bond CA Super Fast Water Thin. You can use it with the activator, but it kind of kind of bubbles up in a crazy mad scientist type way. So I don't always like to do that. So now that we got all of our buildings primed with just some flat black primer or spray paint, whatever you got, time to put some colors on them. All right, so we are gonna keep the paint job super basic on these, and we're just gonna use a pretty simple color triad. If you don't know what a color triad, it's basically a base tone, a mid tone, and a highlight color. These aren't, they're, these are just three paints I picked out um, when I was at the craft store a while back, and they work pretty well together. What we're gonna do is we are just gonna use a really big brush. This is a number 12, old big flat brush. You can also use like a one inch or roughly that same size big flat paint brush, which is what I'm gonna use first. So we're gonna start with our base tone. We're gonna sort of paint around these cause we're gonna color these. We're gonna paint these with a gunmetal color just the, the rest of the building though, we'll get blues. All right, there's one down with uh, his base coat of blue put on. Now let's do the others. All right, now that we have our base coat of kind of this darker blue on, let's go to the mid-tone. For this, we only want about a 50% coverage. So instead of like la last one we did was kind of base coating, this one's not gonna be really dry brushing, more like a heavy overbrush. So you don't need to like super duper glob it onto your brush, but just some nice, you know, we can still kind of see what's underneath. It's okay if it's a, just a little patchy. All right, last color is gonna be our highlight color. And this is only gonna be about 20% coverage, basically think of like a dry brush. With all three colors of our triad put on, next step is we're gonna paint all of the bits with gunmetal and all of the kind of grading looking stuff with this Venetian gold craft paint. So let's knock that out. All right, last up, we're gonna get all the pieces of cardstock we put on uh, as kind of sci-fi decor. We thought it all painted up with this gunmetal.
Okay, so after a quick oil wash, these turned out so cool. Really love the sci-fi industrial look and they were super easy to make. Got some really cool sci-fi logos, designs on the side. I love being able to show everybody how affordable it can be to make terrain out of some really basic building materials that you can find at your local hardware store. And next week you want to stay tuned because we built some really cool, awesome, more advanced level terrain that just looks really neat. And this is a really interesting building. We use 3D printed parts and the airbrush to really make this one pop. So stay tuned because this is the next video coming up and do what you always do everyone. Go out and make something cool and I'll catch you next time.